it won't. I mean, who's going to live in them? Hi, I'm Davinia Newhouse. And I'm Miles Newhouse. We're the, the new, new houses. houses. And we, we live in the new houses. houses. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think we both felt that we needed to get out of London to somewhere really rural, like Wivenhoe. We both have fairly demanding jobs in publishing and PR, and there was this feeling that we needed to kind of get back our souls. Wasn't there, Miles? Mm. Yes. The shops? Oh, yes, well, of course, they're absolutely adorable. We've been here for six months now, and I'm gradually getting to know where they are. In fact, as soon as I find one open, I'll probably start using them. I am a feminist, yes, but we must change with the times. There's no point in attacking men just for the sake of it. I'm sure many young men are crying out for re-education. They need to get appropriately close to women, especially older women. So I've started a scheme where young men in the village are befriended by a mature woman on a one-to-one -one level. That way, they access essential information for life on a need-to-know basis. And I'd like to add that if any young men out there feel there's something inside them bursting to get out, my door is always open. There's been a Tolson Darcy at Klingo Hall for over 900 years. And as the 11th Earl of Klingo, I do feel a certain noblesse oblige, if not droit de seigneur, to mix and mingle with the locals, which is why I only take the Jaguar. Any of the other cars would be ostentatious. I think I blend in with the locals very well, and they, on their part, accept me for who I am. Therefore I will once a week or so come into the local pub, order a pint of Saint Ella Artois, and sit and talk rugger with the great unhosed. And that, to me, is art. Well, for me, the best pub is the Station Park Hotel. You get some real local characters in there. I learned that the landlord is a Czech, so to make him feel more comfortable, I tried speaking Czech to him. I'd learned a bit on a weekend break in Prague. Do you know, I don't think he understood a word I said. Probably speaks a different dialect or something. Different dialect, darling, yes. I think I made one faux pas. Asked me if he served bread and olive oil. One or two of the dockers gave me a funny look. And when I asked for a spritzer, he said, pint. Ted and Rocco hadn't spoken since the group Bushwinder split up in 1973. They've been drinking in separate pubs ever since. See that cat over there, right? You know? Yeah, that cat. He, he went through the 60s. He went through, like, he went through the 60s, like, twice, like, with me. Backwards, right? It can be quite demanding running the bookshop here, but I encourage all the staff to relax as much as possible. We've got a great big skipping rope in the backyard, which we use at playtime. She means lunchtime. Lovely man. I don't like him. He smells. Do you know, he's only ever bought one book, the Bibble. That's because he can't read. But like here, Clapton, you know, I mean, Clapton, I mean, we go way back, you know, Clapton. I, uh, I've never met him or anything, but um, some guys I knew once supported him um, when he was. I just coming out of this pub, I know, drunk, I heard about that, you know. Oh, hey, look, there's Rocco. Lovely young man. I don't think so. Smells. But he... He's very local, though, isn't he? Far too local. Well, originally, we started out in the... Six, six, sometime. It was, uh... It was Dickie Ticker and the pacemakers, right? But, you know, some of the guys went... Went, um... He was Pakistani Dickie Ticker. And uh, 
we we started to do more like R and B. You know, we we knew that thing had to had to rock. This book's ever so good. I wonder what happens at the end. Will there be any jelly? You know that cat that I, I talked to, a guy in, in like you know white stage gear. Um, Vicar, okay. That. That's his house, you know. I mean, I don't know what kind of gigs the church like gives you, you know, man. But I mean, he's pl he's playing bigger houses than me. I think that's you know kind of pretty you know impressive. The guy's playing, playing, you know, that's where he's living, man. So, so does that little fish end up with the the little birds on the on the other page? Customer Claire. Sorry, chief. We're closed for lunch. So, no, but this little bird here, the red one, does that go off with the green one? Music and art and, and, and all them book things, that, that all seem to go together with the new Wivenhell. I, I wrote something about music, because with pop music, you see, that, that, can go, that can go either way, can't it? You see, so, them old pop musicians, they must be on a packet. One minute, they're in a local pub, and the next minute, they crack it. But to me, that's not like music, that's just a bloody racket. Because it is, isn't it? They, Making a noise and banging and crashing. You see, I, I prefer um, Monty Thurgood's Hawaiian guitar steel serenaders coming from St Mary's Church. That was a lovely sound. That country music that had a sound that you you could you could readily understand and, and, and words and, and everything and a tune. And that's what music's about. It shouldn't be a shouldn't be a racket, should it? It's not here, is it? It's no people. We had a company band once that was called Bushwinder. So, because the, the lads couldn't make up their mind what they wanted to call it. We, someone wanted to call it Bush Bushwacker, and someone else wanted to call it Sidewinder, and calling it Sidewacker didn't sound well. It sounded a bit rude, didn't it? So, we called it Bushwinder in the end. We did a couple of three gigs, and we used to do Rawhide with, with a whip till the council put a stop to it. If you look at the river now. I think that probably is better because I, I read in the Essex County Standard that they'd found salmonella in it. Now, there haven't been any fish in that river for a long, long time. And if they're starting to find salmonella in it, I think that's getting better. But you see, you read such terrible things. Since pre-Roman times, Wivenhoe has been associated with sailing. The first boat club dates back to the Vikings. Elric, a local thane, realised that if Wivenhoe only had one slipway, the Vikings wouldn't be able to land their longships. Forming a crude association, he immediately passed a law that no boat should land at Wivenhoe unless its skipper had paid a year's fee to the club. The Vikings were furious, and in 872 AD, more than 300 of them attempted an attack. But since the gates of the landing stage were locked and no non-members held a key, they couldn't land. And so an entire Viking invasion was halted. This is something I wrote about the uh, Essex County Standard. That's a good local paper. If the Martians come and landed, you'd never read about that in the Essex County Standard. They only write the local stuff, like, is the A12 wide enough? And if that's biased, they'd only hint it. Otherwise, they wouldn't print it. But if a restaurant floor's being sanded, or if the council's being cack-handed, you'll find that in the County Standard. For weeks and weeks, that thing will rage, especially on the letters page. Then gets up to the boring stage. That's when it lines my ferret's cage. There's car parks, shopping, motor mart, local sport, that's just a start. But they don't have too much on art, because you don't need it. That's why I read it. Yeah. My friends don't come and visit me very often, I don't. I, it's possible to live uh, really quietly here, you know, just like... <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and one of the many reasons we decided to move here. Hey, but well, great days. Tell me, uh, are, are the pubs open yet? I must get back to Wivenhoe, to Wivenhoe and Quick, where socialism's an overcoat and money's a walking stick, where glowing laptops bleep and hum behind each cottage door, where everyone's an artist, a writer and a bore, or used to be at uni but isn't anymore. Oh, scheiße, I've been in this, you know,
<laughs> Martha, my love! Let me see my baby! Great days. I must get back to Wivenhoe. I need a place to think. Where people go to fail with grace and steep themselves in drink. Where perfume is by lethargy and boredom is systemic. Where cheap concern and alcohol make public bar polemic. And narcissistic self-congratulation is endemic. I do like the odd flutter on the GGs. Yes! Great days, yeah. Great days. My husband's a dentist. Oh. It's another world. It is lovely, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Hello, the Wivenhoe Bookshop. 